today. First we have Van Parker, who came in from Philadelphia. And we also have Lottie and Stephanie Schoenaker who are here. And they worked on the lioness, excuse me, the last review of Leash Bonnie. And Van Parker worked on ups and downs. And I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask maybe one or two questions of each of them. Does somebody have a question for Van here? I see one back here in the aisle. Will you run with Nice and loud. How was your life? Or how, how did your life um, inspire you in making this film? Um, well, it was depressing, kind of. Seems like things got a little bit harder, you know, I had to take a second job and then missed a lot of school and my friends weren't hanging around as much as possible. Uh, I just moved out of my dad's place and it's like in between houses, so things were a little down. Um, during the writing process of this movie, I, I think it was around the time where things were starting to get better for me. Things were starting to look up a little bit. And for an update now, things are great. <laughs> I'm in college. Awesome. Woo! Congratulations. Um, is there a question over on this side? For yes, here at the nice and loud. Thanks. Have either oh. of your films been on television? Has yours been on television? It's going to be. <laughs> going to be. Um, it's going to premiere and it's going to be for the first time on television and on Philadelphia's. Philadelphia Story 7. Philadelphia Story 7. Hello. Uh, our film has not screened or broadcast on TV. Yet we're following a few leads, uh, but it has screened a lot of uh, festivals so far. And we're also happy to have it screened here at the Chicago International Children's Film Festival. Wonderful. Uh, any questions from this side? Yeah, right here at the end. Nice and loud. How many poems have you written? I've written books and books for, I have um, right now a good few composition books full of poems, uh, one to two page poems, uh, some run on longer and longer. They seem to be written, you know, in between various weeks, depending on what happens. I try to keep current with my poetry, try to keep it as my sort of a blog of what happens. Um, I think my last poem was maybe three weeks ago, which gives me a good more than a hundred poems. That's a lot of poems. Um, how about right here in the front? Yeah, go ahead. Was this based on true stories? Uh, let's start over here. Was this based on a true story? Uh, the movie is uh, loosely based on uh, an African uh, Nigerian heroine who lived in Nigeria, Fumila um, Ransom Kuti. So she was a true heroine. And then our movie is loosely based on her life. We picked certain things. This uh, market, small market revolution, is actually based on true facts. And we build a whole story around those true facts. Also with the angel, which, I mean, whether angels do exist or not, we don't really know, but that's certainly something that we added to the film. And how about you? Was yours based on your true life? Um, mine was based on true life. Kind of scary putting it into a film. I, I was kind of worried about the reaction I would get when I actually you know, showed the film to people. Uh, it was pretty personal, yes. All right. 
maybe we have time for one more question, one or two more questions. Oh, I see a really tall red and, and white arm sticking up in the second row over here. Nice and loud. Oh, no, I, this girl right here. There we go. Yeah, stand up and say it nice and loud. One more time. How old were you when you first started writing poems? That's a good question. What? I was, um, I was in middle school, I think it was my 8th grade year of middle school, which would have made me, uh, yeah, 12, yeah, 12. 13. Who here is 13? I see some 13, great, so you're just at the right age. <laughs> Alright, one last question, one last one. Yeah, way in the back over there. You. What, what happened to the girl's mother in the Linus? Well, uh, she was freed. She was uh, in, in the story. She was imprisoned, and but afterwards, afterwards, she was relieved because uh, the tax collector. They later found out that he was actually cheating. He had his own little business running, so she was uh, released, and they had a little reunion after she came back, after her education in England. That's what happened. But to see the rest of the whole story, you have to wait until the feature comes out and we're actually working on a long length, uh, feature length story wow. of this short film. Wonderful, well, we'll look forward to that. Thank you all for your wonderful questions and for being such a great audience today. We have to let you go, so I'm going to pass the mic on and you can listen to the best way to get back to your buses from here. Thanks so much for coming. And let's have another round of applause for our filmmakers here as well, who have come a long way to be here with us today. Thanks for being such a terrific audience and for waiting a little too